All right, so we have been meaning to make a walk around video for the truck, but I haven't ha had a good location or good weather to do it. When we were in Virginia, I wanted to do it, but I, it was raining and foggy and I just didn't have the time or the weather conditions to make a good video. So we have a beautiful day today. So here's our 2004 Chevy Trailblazer. Um, it has the 4.2 liter inline six, dual red cam, variable valve timing. It's just shy of 300 horsepower. Um, Let's start with the front, I guess, since we're already here. The bumper's from MDB Fabrication. It's his base model winch bumper. The winch is a Smittybilt X2O 10,000. I've had this winch since like 2017, probably. Um, I mounted the solenoid pack uh, with the vehicle battery under the hood for a cleaner look and blocking less grill. The winch comes with synthetic line wireless control which i would not buy a winch that does not have synthetic line or wireless control anymore and the hook is oversized and you can shove both loops of like a tree strap in the hook without using a shackle to go in between so that's convenient and safer the we have the radiator skid plate from mdb fabrication and the oil pan skid plate so the one of the weak spots on these trucks is the bottom end tank of the radiator hangs down in front of the frame and you go from having a liability to having an asset you can jack the truck up with a floor jack from the skid plate as you can see there's some scratches and some rust like it gets used the power steering cooler is switched out from the factory steel one that's just like a tube to an aftermarket aluminum like uh, plate and fin style so it's more efficient we have uh, transmission cooler auxiliary trans cooler in here that's a nece that's necessary on these trucks um, 32 inch falcon wild peak at3ws it's my second set of these i got my first set in 2015 and i just got a second set last year for our honeymoon trip um, the lifts approximately three three and a half inches um, the front's moog 81114 springs and a liftmeister three inch suspension block that block is inside the strut assembly not a bolt on top so it adds preload and then the springs are about one of the heaviest springs you can get for these things for the winch and the armor and stuff in the rear the lift is spring only they are skyjacker c25r springs for a tahoe they lift the Tahoe or Yukon about two and a half inches and they lift these about four inches without any weight. But with all the extra weight and stuff, that we have a nice level truck. And then we have Bilstein um, uh, 5125s and these are like 16 inches extended. Um, sorry, like 16 inches collapsed, like 26 inches extended. Uh, they're a couple inches longer than the socks, shocks. We have uh, the MDB fabrication uh, swing out tire carrier for our full size spare and our fuel cans. These are 10 liter cans, so that's about five gallons total between the two cans. On the swing out, I added lights. Um, and then we have this shelf table. I mounted the high lift jack. I made my own mount with some half inch bolts. Um, I got the plastic uh, handle wing nut type thing from McMaster Car. The swing out has a shock on it that holds it open so it doesn't fall close on a hill and uh, helps guide it open and hold it. Um, backup camera, CB radio antenna. It's for recovery gear and lo like loadout type stuff. So the Toolbox on the right is all hand tools. The toolbox on the left is all recovery gear, static strap, um, kinetic strap, tree savers, um, shackles, two snatch blocks. We have uh, Viair 300p air compressor, a trauma kit, and we have a fire extinguisher and a shovel, traction boards in the bag. And then we need to have like jump pack and spare parts and stuff in the storage factory storage compartments.
Um, we have a Cobra 29 with the weather channels and then trailer brake controller. It's pretty simple. In the rear of this thing, we have a pan hard uh, drop, uh, drop bracket on the frame, mount, frame mounting side. And then we have an adjustable track bar from Spoon Performance. So I can center the rear axle um, and adjust the thrust angle of the rear axle. The rear axle itself is an 8.6 inch out of a seven passenger trailblazer. The six cylinder, five passenger models come with an eight inch that has like no aftermarket support. Your only choice for any kind of locker would be uh, like a remanufactured factory G80, which is the, um, on Chevy trucks, the G80 is the RPO code for the Eaton Gov Lock or the Gov Bomb. And you can swap in the 8.6 from the V8 trucks and from the seven passenger trucks which has the same guts as a pickup. So the aftermarket support is, you know, sky's the limit. So we got this used 8.6 and we put a Yukon Grizzly locker in it. And I'll tell you, the having a, having a real locker cha absolutely changed my life. When we were in George Washington National Forest uh, last week, or a couple weeks ago now, um, I've been there a lot over the last 10 years, but my first time there was a locker and night and day difference, especially with the trailer. Um, stuff for you to be like real careful with your line or even like, you know, back up to get a better line to keep tires on the ground. Doesn't matter with the locker, pushes you right up. Um, that's about it for the mods on the truck, really. All right, so that's about it for the walk around of the truck. I think I covered basic, uh, pretty much everything that's of interest or like a major modification. There's not much to it. It's pretty simple. Um, you can follow our Instagram, which is also Trailblazer Overland for trip pictures from before we started making videos and you know pictures of the truck and pictures of our campsites and stuff. Um, if you have any questions, comment below. Hopefully we'll see you out on the trail.